Hi guys, LaChanti Asma on the mic. I wanted to share a poem with you that will be likely featured in my upcoming book of poetry. This poem was inspired by spending some girl time with my very close friends who was having a really tough day. Just weariness from uh, believing God for the promises to come to pass in their life, such as marriage, babies, the perfect job, um, further education. You know, we've all been in that place where we just get kind of tired. And so I thought, what in the world did the women of the Bible do while they were waiting for God to move on their behalf? And so I did a good bit of research and that's how this poem came to be. So I hope that it is a blessing to you as it is to me. Well, check it out. While you are waiting. While you are waiting, keep your desires close. Release your preferences. Hold on tight to God's promises and loose your doubts and fears while you are waiting. Be a visionary and leader as Deborah. Be a risk taker as Priscilla. Be a woman of faith as Hannah. Be bold and lovely as a Shittimite while you are waiting. Leave the controlling spirit of Jezebel. Don't look back as Lot's wife. Don't betray yourself or others as Delilah. Don't be prideful as Hagar. Don't be jealous as Leah. Don't play the victim as Rachel. Don't be a man's concubine as Respa. Don't be controlled by a need for power as Athalia. Don't be a whore as Gomer. And don't scheme as Heteroses. While you are waiting, be broken soft and humble be kept pure and serve be strong steadfast and unmovable be prayerful and trustworthy while you are waiting relinquish independence and retrieve christ dependency know and understand who you truly are identify your needs and wants and whose responsibility it is to fulfill them while you are waiting be courageous as jail. Be as Eve before the fall. Be hardworking and generous as Rebecca. Be a businesswoman as Lydia. Be as Sarah. Await the child of promise. Be wise as Rahab. Be driven as Tamar. Be inspiring as Naomi. And be as Ruth, loyal and loving while you are waiting. Be a peacemaker as Abigail. Be compassionate as Endor. Be upright in God's sight as Elizabeth. Be merciful as Darkest. Be all you can be as a Proverbs 31 woman. Receive God's grace as Mary Magdalene. Seek wisdom and understanding as the Queen of Sheba. Let God minister to you as the woman of Samaria. Touch Jesus as the woman with the issue of blood. Experience healing at Christ's hands as Joanna. Let your heart be as Esther. If I perish, I perish. My sister, my sister, do these things while you're awaiting.